My father's been in the hospital now for about three months and it's been a mess. What's so fucked up is that during that physical he had a few months ago before all this happened, he was told he had had a gallbladder attack. Well, obviously it was a heart attack and he must have also had cancer at that time because by the time they found the cancer in Florida, his CAT scan had lit up like a fucking Christmas tree. I mean, the cancer spreads almost every bone in his body. And because of that, they can't do surgery to fix his heart because his bones are too brittle and they have to cut through your sternum to get to your heart. And Dr. DeBella said that if they did that, his bones would just like turn to dust and so they can't do shit. I mean, at this point, at least for the doctors, it's really just about managing him and seeing what's going to happen. Well, come here for a minute. I have something that I want to give you that I've actually been carrying in my wallet since the day that we met. What are you talking about the day that we met? This is the picture the social worker took the day she dropped off at our apartment on 198th Street. It's our first family photo. I want you to have it. And don't lose it. All right. But I mean, why are you giving this to me now? I mean, you're going to be fine. You know, I mean, you're going to get through this. I mean, you know what? I'm just going to hold on to this for you for now. Is it weird to think that this might not be the first picture of me? Like, like maybe there's pictures of me before you and mom even met me, like, like me with another mother or with another family. I mean, is it weird to think about shit like that? The very next day. Hello? Hello, Rock. This is Dr. DeBellis. Hey, Dr. DeBellis, how you doing? I'm sorry, Rock. Your father passed away about 45 minutes ago. So I ran up to the hospital to go take care of, you know, whenever you take care of when somebody dies. When I got there, the nurse told me I could go into my father's room and get his personal belongings. So I walked down the hallway, I opened up the door. My father was still laying in his bed. So I just kind of looked at him for a second. I remember his eyes were closed and, and it looked like he was smiling. I remember his teeth looked like dried wood. It was like the weirdest thing I've ever seen in my life. So I sat down in the chair that I just spent the last three months in. And I didn't know what to do, so I just took his hand. He was still sweating. I actually felt his skin get cold. I mean, this is going to sound kind of weird, and this is really hard to explain, but this has been like the most amazing time for me. And I think it was for my father, too. I mean, I was with him pretty much all day, every day, from the moment he was admitted to the hospital, like right up until today. I saw everything. It's like I feel honored that he even let me see everything, that he even wanted me around during any of this. I mean, this was a gift for me. You know, he gave me a home. I mean, he saved my life. He saved my life. And we weren't even all that close up until now, you know, up until he got sick. I mean, we wasted all this fucking time. 